Hey everyone, it's DJ Osh here with the interesting little game here. You can all like stare at me, accuse me of not of having very bad commitment issues as of not posting on YouTube often, and you're absolutely correct. And I will not blame you at any point whatsoever. However, I'm here just to kind of relax and play a bit of a game that I discovered recently, known as Velvet Sundown. It's an interesting free-to-play game but it also has some premium content that you can pay for and I mean it's totally worth it if you really like this game but I'm gonna play the free scenario for this week you kind of it's kinda of like you play at a story and you're given a character and you have to sort of play that character's role within the story you have your own motives but everybody else around you also has motives and you kinda of have to feel the water a bit and try to figure out this is gonna be a murder mystery so Let's get into this. I'm joining this nonsense. I haven't played this one yet. I played the... Every week they have a different scenario, so it keeps things pretty fresh. If that's what you're looking for. Now it's, we just play the waiting game, I suppose. There's really nothing else to it. I will get back to you guys when it's actually begun. Uh, warning, though. Uh, th the meat of this game is sort of in the story and like how the characters interact so this could be considered something of a spoiler so if you wanna enjoy this week's content without you know me influencing it at all anyway then I recommend leaving now Who's this fellow we got you are Ingemar Anderson it's better to live one day as a lion than a thousand days as a lamb I will turn down the audio in post because this is really loud. Alright, there's been a murder on the yacht. You had all gathered in the lounge for tonight's party when you found the captain lying on the floor, stabbed dead. One of you down earlier tonight. But I didn't do it. The Coast Guard's a good alert. The Coast Guard's been alerted and they'll be here soon. They asked you to track down your suspicions are right in the logbook before they arrive. Alright. I'm an interesting guy. <laughs> Alright, so brown hair. So the person... Okay, so here's the thing. Your character, whoever you are, I, I'm in... Ingmar? Ingmar? Is that how you pronounce it? And it has like a little description of your character. They're basic... They're basic evidence. Like your small-time criminal with a brilliant mind using nothing but your wits you see a great fort from under the Russian mafia's nose. Unfortunately, this called for a permanent change of scenery. So I'm playing as a like a hardened and wisecracking criminal. My first objective, these are all your different objectives here. One of my objectives is murder. I didn't do it, and I'll have to try to find out who did. I found evidence, so this thing right here, the brown hair, belongs to somebody and is evidence supporting who the murderer may be. And you're at my alibis, I spent the evening arguing with Dunla or Dunla so who's Dunla who is that's Dunla right there it doesn't tell me what the argument is about <laughs> they have the voice and text translation yeah I found an interesting group the only thing Alex wants more than did is see me <laughs> Great. Oh my gosh. Okay. The one thing you have to take note about this game. It is it is ruined by trolls. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my voice is so smooth. She stabbed the captain to death with the wang she totally has. discovered an interesting clue for this case. Which among us has brown hair? <laughs> the, the voice? My character is so suave. You can tell it by his voice. I show him the brown hair. Look at that. So, it's, it's not really a complicated interface. You kind of have to interact with the stuff in your toolbar, like all the tools you've been given. And up there you can see we've already wasted a lot of time. But 
among us, we have to decide who the murderer is. And at the end of this time limit, we'll all have to write down our name of the person we think who did it. So, my guess is it's either Alex, Linda, or Dunla. But this group isn't being very lively. <laughs> in fact, it seems like everybody is frozen in time. The, the problem with this game, probably the biggest problem, I don't think there's any way that the makers of this game could really change it, is that the quality of your game experience is really, really dependent on the quality of the players you're with, which can be a huge problem. Like, sometimes you'll find a really good group and they're really into everything. Like, they really, really want to roleplay. And then you get trolls like whoever's controlling Doonla here, who just uses the text-to-speech as an opportunity to spam things in both dicks and semen, and it's not, it's not really funny. So let's see if I can find a better group. I'm something new. I'm Jack Gold. Everything has a price. Your reputation as a successful businessman is well earned, but your greed blinded you to the problems developing in the world markets. As your investments are wiped out, you bailed out of your Wall Street office, hoping to start a new and a faraway land. And commit them. There's been a murder in the Okay, so once again, I didn't commit this murder. Boy, would like the chat. Hey, boy. It's Hello, boy. One of some yeah. fuck lord. I have calendar. <laughs> I have a fucking boomer. Door. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so... I'll help you with that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this game. Switch the item of the captain's calendar, saying that Captain is going to meet Boyle, Jack, and Shauna on the murder night. Ooh. Look at this. I found your nut hair, bro. Or is it your dick hair, Jack? I need a dick in me. Yeah. What could I possibly want from the captain? I'm a wealthy businessman. What would my motive be? <laughs> you sound as a troll. <laughs> you want his yacht? Guys, I swear, this is such a good game. Everybody, don't don't think that I'm lying to you. This is such a good game. You and the captain were business partners it's and probably gay lovers. But that's Babble Baba. He double trust you, so you I jerked buy all the gear I could and ever want. Him. This you lady right here is Jack. Guys, Jack. Guys, Jack. Jack. this is such a bit for you, No way. Ho. Admit it already. I am all about that sweet bitch. I suck, boiled it. I bet Boyle didn't even get home at getting suit. It was Jack. Cause he wants a dick in his ass. Yeah, see. Laura is my hot sweaty cum dumpster. Yeah. Such a good video game, guys. People talk about dicks. And sex. And they're on the internet and they think they're really clever. Yeah. All these stuff, guys. I'm already done. So yeah, this probably hasn't convinced you that this is a very good game. I mean, it's a really cool concept. I mean, you could do a lot with this. Like, I, I like the idea of this game. The only problem is that there's 
so many trolls and like the majority of people who go into this don't actually care like they just they just enjoy seeing the voices say funny things and I don't know like what the developers could do to crack down on that but at the moment I can't really say it's worth investing into just because the player base like this is a game that heavily relies on a really good player base like maybe because you see certain scenarios are blocked off unless you pay premium and the premium isn't like a fee and you're in premium is like a subscription thing where you have to pay like I don't know six dollars a month or something similar and the reason why it's kind of hard to truly recommend this game is I don't know if the if the premium makes like improves the experience at all like maybe would the players be more serious if they're like paying money every month to continue playing this I mean it's also you could also like argue that the business practice is pretty weird because you know subscribing for something like this like I I could easily see it being worth it if the community, like the premium paying community, is really good. Like I could easily see this being worth it because I, I love this stuff. Like being able to role play and play out the scenario, but it just takes you out of it. It just takes you completely out of it. Whenever, like whenever players try to be funny in the most unfunny of ways. Like the way the way these jokers are going on, there's nothing there's nothing special about that. Like let's 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 enter back in the conversation. Let's see if they really have anything meaningful to say besides accusing each other of being gay and other useless schlock. Like, that's not funny, guys. That, that's literally, that's literally not funny. That's not clever. Like, nothing any of these guys, like, they aren't even trying. They see this as a game where they can just spam their voice commands and ha 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 ha. Look at that, I typed something in and it says it. It's almost funny if I use a microphone and set it myself, which by the way, this game I also believe has microphone settings, but I think it's only for premium at the moment because they're having like server issues, so only premium players can use the microphone. But I don't know. Like someday I might go back to this. I might like pick up pay for premium for a month and do this video over again to see if anything really changes like if the if the experience really improves cuz if him um, like would you pay like six dollars a month for an experience like this like I need somebody who's played this game to chime in like is it like this whenever like in the premium like do people behave like they do here if you're paying the monthly fee because like I'm, I might be retreading ground, I might be waffling but this game relies on community in a way that not many other games do and without a good community then this game is nothing like this game this game is meant to open up. Like, this game isn't really so much... I mean, it is a game. 
Like, it totally is a game, by definition, but... It, it's a game that relies much, much more heavily on the kind of people you're playing with. Okay, let's listen to what these guys are going on about. Yeah, because nobody was actually interested in seriously role-playing, I was convicted of performing a crime that my character didn't do. And I mean, if... I, there's no real punishment. I mean, it happens and it happens. But if only there was actually players who seriously wanted to play this, I could have, like, tried to argue my case. But 